right, I'm starting the timer. And here is the question. Right, so if you have read and understood, let's begin. Right, looking at uh, these images, can you identify which vertebra belongs to which region, please? The picture has gone, okay. Can you see on the left yes. hand side, this yes. one belongs to which region you know there are four regions cervical thoracic yeah. lumbar and yes this and is almost like red to lumbar region both are you sure look closely no. the right one yes right one this one this is this right is one the lumbar region. yes this is lumbar confirmed okay. and this one this is Thoracic. thoracic yes okay how many uh, vertebras there are in thoracic region and how many in lumbar region there's 12 yes thoracic vertebrae and yes. there is five lumbar vertebrae how would you differentiate between thoracic and lumbar vertebrae uh, the thoracic vertebrae has uh, most like a triangular vertebral foramen yes while the un has the Okay. Yes, and more. This is uh, this was about the body and the vertebral foramen. What about the transverse processes? Yes. Uh, the fifth lumbar vertebra has few transverse processes with the ventricle. Uh, yes. Of the thoracic, there is typical and atypical. The typical from Two to nine, the eight vertical is one yes. and nine and tenth and eleven and twelve. Yes, good. Uh, what is difference in their articular processes or uh, uh, articulating their spaces? The there is superior and inferior articular processes for the lumbar. Yes. And there is a mammillary process and spinal process. The mammillary process is uh, behind the superior articular process. Yes. While the transverse process has a spinal process in the posterior surface. Yes. Uh, the spinal process is hatched, hatched and healthy. And uh, has the lumbar vertebrae has heavier body than the, the other vertebrae. Okay, tell me one difference. One, one thing which is only present in thoracic vertebrae and not in lumbar vertebrae um, facet for the attachment of ribs the yes? costal, costal facet yes costal facet which is not present in a lumbar okay can yes. you please tell me what is intervertebral foramen Intervertebral foramen, this is uh, been between each vertebra, there is foramen, it transmits certain structure. Like the what? communicating vein and recurrent meningeal veins. Yes. And also the dorsal root ganglion and yes. the root of each spinal nerve. Yes. And transformer uh, ligament. And communicating And the spinal vein. artery of the segmental yes. artery. Yes. And transforminal yes. ligament. Okay. Can you tell me, once you are doing lumbar puncture, 
what are the layers that you'll uh, come across? Can you tell me? From skin to the CSS, skin, please, yes. Firstly, there is the skin and subcutaneous tissue. There is the yes. fascia, the corresponding yes. ligament, and the interspinous ligament. Yes. Then there is the ligamentum flavum, and there is the epidural space and dural matter and other acroid, and then there is CSS. Very good. Okay, there's a difference at which you do the lumbar puncture in adults and uh, neonates or children. Can you tell me the difference, please? Uh, the spinal cord ends at the level L3 in the children, while it is ends at the level of L2 and the other. Okay. All right, okay. Can you tell me what is uh, intervertebral disc anatomy? How is it formed? It is formed from the uh, nucleus bulbosus, it is interiorly and surrounded by the uh, annular fibrosis. The nucleus bulbosus is formed from the uh, collagen type 1 and collagen type uh, 2, and there is proteolycan. While the uh, annular fibrosis is composed of fibrospecial and fibrocartilaginous, and yes. also for collagen. Okay. The annular fibrosis is embedded in mucoprotein and jelly like material. Can you tell me what type of joint is interventricular joint? Vertebral joint. The secondary fibrocartilaginous joint. Okay, good. Can you tell me what are the movements which are uh, present at in, in thoracic and in lumbar vertebrae? There is flexion and extension and lateral flexion. In both? Or is there anything, uh, any extra movement present in uh, thoracic region? Thoracic? Uh, maybe rotation, I don't know. Okay, can you tell me what is the content of spinal canal below L2 level? Composed of coda equina and phylum terminal. What is phylum terminal? Phylum terminal is this is the uh, the I don't know. Okay, can you please tell me uh, what is the location of paravertebral venous flexures? Paravertebral venous, uh, there is anterior and external. Yes. Uh, Can you tell more? Posterior, uh, interior, and external vertebral flexus. Yes. The anterior intervertebral flexus. This is a small uh, systems around the vertebral bodies, while yes. posterior internal intervertebral venous flexus is extensive system around the spinal processes, yes. and also the anterior and posterior. Uh, External vertebral venous plexus, the anterior is anterior to the dura mater, while the posterior external is posterior to the dura mater. Good. Okay, can you please tell me, uh, spine is mostly a common uh, site of metastasis for tumors. Can you tell me what is the secondary most common Tumors which metastasize to spine or lumbar uh, region or the most common is the lung. Okay. By thirty-one percent, there is the breast, twenty-eight percent, and yes. there is the okay, twenty-four. Okay. There is a multiple myeloma and there is yes. a GIT cancer and there is a lymphoma. Yes. Do you know how much person? And breast cancer. Okay. How much percentage of primary uh, tumors arise from spine? Uh, I don't know. How much? Okay. When tuberculosis, uh, when there is a tuberculosis in the spine, okay. it is it is it has a special name. Can you tell me what? And which spine What's does it? Most, yeah, which spine most commonly it affects? The lumbar region. Yeah, good. Could there be any reason for that? Uh, let's say it is due to can be arterial root. Okay. 
or through direct invasion through the intervertebral foramen. Yeah. Good. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So today we have covered the whole vertebrae.